for our letter craft this week, we are going to make a kite. K for kite. Do you know what shape a kite is? Hmm, it's not a circle. It's not a square. It's not a rectangle. Hmm, is it a triangle? Maybe it does have a point at the top, doesn't it? Hmm, it's called a diamond. So the first thing we need to do is draw a diamond. Before we can draw a diamond, we have to get out our materials. We're going to need some scissors, some string or some ribbon if you have some, a piece of white paper or construction paper if you want, and some coloring materials, and a pencil. Not sure if I said that. So once you have all of your materials, then we are ready to go and make our kite. All right, so now we have all of our materials ready to make our kite and our very first job isn't going to be write our paper, our name on our paper. Our first job is going to be to fold our piece of paper in half and you will see why after. It's really going to help us, okay? So right now my paper is the long way, not this wide way, okay? So I'm going to take the top of my paper and I'm gonna fold it down to the bottom, okay? I need to make sure that that corner meets that corner so I can hold that there. And then this corner meets this corner. That way I know that it's even. Now I'm gonna push and follow the line. I just folded my paper in half. Now we're gonna open it up. Now what we need to do, and I forgot to mention this before, is we need a ruler or something straight that we can trace because shapes have equal sides. They have equal lines. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make the top part of our diamond. So do you know what we're gonna do? We're going to fold our paper again the long way. We folded it in half. Now we're gonna fold it in half the other way. So take this side of the paper, fold it this way, that corner matches, and that corner matches, and we push and flatten our paper. Now that we've done that, we can see where the center is and the center. So we can make our kite a perfect diamond. So with our ruler, let's go to the very middle where the paper is folded. And we're gonna find the edge where it's folded right here. And we're gonna draw a sideways line down. Ready? There we have the first line of our diamond. We're gonna go to the other side of the paper, do the same thing. Find the edge where it's folded and the edge again where it's folded here and draw a nice line down. Now it's okay if it's not perfect, right? Because we're just learning, just practicing. Find our corner there and our corner down there. Big sideways line down. And then this side, our last line, find the corner in the corner and a big sideways line down. You just made a diamond. Now let's cut, actually maybe we'll cut after. What do you want to decorate your kite with? This is totally up to you. You could make patterns. You could make pears that we talked about earlier this week. You could draw flowers or bumblebees or dinosaurs or planets because we're learning about space. Oh my goodness, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a space kite. So, earth. Earth is green and blue. So maybe I will draw an earth first. Now remember, Miss Mora was drawing an earth, but you don't have to draw an earth, right? You can draw whatever you want. Where are my crayons? There they are. All right, so earth. Earth is a big round circle planet perfect and it's got land 
is all the land on earth. There we go. And then when there isn't land, there's water. What color is water? When we color it, it's blue, right? Coloring in my land on my planet. Perfect, now we have to draw color in the water. The blue water, the oceans and the lakes and the rivers and the ice caps big pieces of ice. There we go. Perfect. What else is in the sky? What else is in our solar system? How about the sun? The sun is the same shape as a planet, right? It's a big circle. So I start at the top, magic C, backwards magic C, and I can have my sun rays. My Mr. Sun, oh Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Old and Sun, please shine down on me. I don't know the rest of the words to that song. I should maybe learn that, hey? Do you know that song? More sun rays, it's a beautiful, big sun. There we go. Sometimes suns have orange in them too. We could add some orange, whoa, yeah, that's a really hot sun. There. Perfect. All right. What else do we have in the sky? Hmm. There's a planet called Saturn, and Saturn has a bunch of rings around it. I wonder if we could draw Saturn. Okay, now I'm going to be creative and make up the color of Saturn because I'm not exactly sure but I know it's a circle and then it has cool rings around it so hmm let's do green rings okay so it has these rings that spin around and around and around and around the planet really neat What else do we have? We have beautiful stars in a night sky, right? Maybe I'll do some stars over here. So you can do stars like that, or you can do stars like this. I do a bit, I do a sideways line up, a sideways line down, and then a sideways line up this way sideways, and then across and then sideways down. And that's a star, you can color that in. It's kind of a neat trick to make a star, I'll show you again. So sideways line up and down, like you're gonna make a triangle. And then sideways up, across, and sideways down. You color in your star. Here's my night sky. Cool. Oh, what else? We could draw our alien that we made earlier this week. Our little alien in a spaceship. So how did we do that again? Do you remember? We drew a circle and then we drew our spaceship. So our spaceship is a sideways line down on one side sideways line down on the other side and then Matman smile a big curve for his 
spaceship. You can draw a little alien inside. Give them. Hey, maybe this guy can have three eyes too. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. That is a funny alien. Here we go. Don't forget his lights on his spaceship. Whoa. I guess he should maybe get some eyes. Some eyeballs, I mean, some pupils so we can see. There we go. What about a smile? <laughs> Pretty cute alien. I wonder if aliens are cute, if they're real. Do you think they're real? I don't know. Maybe you can grow up to be a scientist, a space scientist or an astronaut and find out. There we go. And the last thing I'm going to put on my kite up in space is the moon. We can't forget about the moon. And I'm going to make it blue. And it's going to be a crescent moon, not a full moon. That's going to be just a little bit. There we go. You could draw a full moon, which is a circle, or a sliver of the moon. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to give my kite a black outline so it really shows up, okay? So you can take your ruler again. Or you can try to just go slowly over top without the ruler and just go down. Nice black line. And then go down. And go down. And go down. Now, making the kite is a really, really tough job. So don't be frustrated if you need to ask for help, okay? Remember to stay calm and just use your words. Ask for help. We're just learning how to do these things. So sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. So now that we have our kite all done and traced, we're going to cut off the white extra pieces. My helping hand is moving my paper. My cutting hand is moving up and down, chomp, chomp. Last one. There, now we need to put our name on it. We can put our name down on the bottom or the other side, it's up to you. Okay, now you can attach your string or your ribbon to the bottom of your kite and you have your very own kite craft. I hope you had fun and maybe you could see if your kite will really fly in the wind outside. Have fun!